Martin D. Reese. Instantly killed in a traffic collision at 9.57 a.m. Then when I was 15 years old, I remember walking into the house and my dad and his bowling partners were sitting around the kitchen table. That was when I met Officer Glenn Stewart. My dad and Glenn bowled together in a league. Later that year, I remember my father reading the Brinkin Journal with tears in his eyes, and then he told our family of the tragic death of his friend on, in a motorcycle accident. Later on, I became a police officer, and I remember going on calls with Officer Ben Franklin. It was a relief when Ben showed up. Ben was a big, intimidating man. I knew that Ben was a gentle giant, but the people that we were dealing with didn't. Then, General Ben died of a heart attack while affecting an arrest at a basketball game at Football High School. Then there was George Naff. I worked with George on a midnight shift. The thing that I remember most about George was that it was a rarity to see George without that huge, big smile on his face. He was just a great person to be around. And then he too died, killed by a drunk driver on Hawkins Avenue. I remember George now too, Chief. And we'll never forget that night. I remember him with his unlit cigar in the back of the roll call room, third chair from the left, laughing. And I remember the call to City Hospital, our shift in the hallway, waiting, the terrible silence, the disbelief. And I remember the surgeon coming out. She said, he was a police officer, and I drew on everything I knew, and it didn't work. And I remember her breaking down in the hallway afterwards. Aim. Fire. Right there. Aim. Fire.